All right, so what's up guys? So we are out here on another run. Out here as it's starting to drizzle a bit. We hope that the camera didn't really fog up for you guys to be able to watch everything and you know, observe it, but it's okay. We're still out here doing this madness for all of you guys. And you know, staying positive, staying upbeat, feeling great about ourselves right as we embark on this journey towards the finish line and you know for you you want to think about that right you want to think about four positive aspects you know four great things about you know positive mindsets and you know for you don't worry because that's what we are going to be talking about today right staying positive staying you know in a good and you know happy state of mind right don't let negative things influence you and that is point number one that positive people aren't you know really susceptible to negative influences right they almost have like a shield deployed at all times so when negativity and you know badness is thrown at them they're simply able to put up their shield and deflect it right it bounces right off of it and you know for you you've got to be able to do that Right, because the world has so much negativity, right? It's everywhere, right? If you blink, you might miss something negative, right? It's all around us. And, you know, for that, it's very easy, you know, to fall prey to these negative things, right? Comes in all shapes and sizes, right? Big, small, and so forth. And, you know, for you, in order to stay positive, it starts with stopping the negative because how can you truly be positive if you're letting negative things influence you right that negativity that bs right that rush hour traffic and you know like now it's raining a lot of people are angry about that right? a lot of people stayed inside a lot of people don't want to go out because of that right and that could be very negative but guess what we're doing we're out here running we're making the most of it, right? Staying positive. We're not letting that negative aspect of the day, right? Affect us because many can see it as that. They can look at it as that it sucks. It's horrible. It's awful. But for us, we play in it. We have fun in it because we know that, you know, in the back of our minds, we're not gonna get this day again. So why not make the most of it? why not enjoy it right be happy in this moment because you know it's your decision it's between you and you if you want to be positive and you know feel great so you know for you we just mentioned aspect number two as far as positive people they recognize the importance of perception right the way you look at things right how much that matters because you can see so many different outcomes in so many different lights, right? Because we are all shunned not necessarily by negativity, although it may be easy to perceive it that way, but we are just surrounded by a whole bunch of stimuli, right? Some people look at going out to the club as some of the awesomest, one of the most awesomest things you could do, while others think of it as bad and horrible right as a way to waste the night and you know do bad things and be around you know potentially threatening people right other people see these events different ways so you know in order to be positive you got to see the light of everything right it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to love going to the club right you don't want to go every single day but if you're there if you're at the club recognize you know, the awesome things about it, right? The music, the DJ, right? Try to get to know some people there. And, you know, some people don't like you, it's okay. Because guess what? With that moment means that you're gonna have more time to meet awesome people, right? Because who wants to be around people that don't like them, right? They don't wanna spend time with them. They don't care about them. So the time that you, you know, essentially burned, Right? By talking to these people, you are spending 
and you couldn't use towards you know, meeting new people. So be thankful, right? When people reject you, when they show you their true colors, right? It can be harsh, right? When people double cross us and they turn their backs towards us and do things behind our back that can make us very angry. But you know, it's not so bad, right? It's just a sign. I'd be thankful. It's a symbol, you know, who that person really is, right? And, and tells you who they really are. And it allows you to make a decision upon that. And that goes into our third point as far as positive people. They recognize that the outcomes don't really matter, but the decisions we make afterwards matters, right? How you react because life is full of outcomes. Right, you get into a car, you can get into an accident, right? You're gonna run into a red light and how you react to it matters, right? How you react to the red light, right? You can get angry, you can curse yourself, right? You can want to run that red light simply out of anger, but guess what? You'll probably get a ticket. You'll probably hit somebody coming the other way and that well, won't be so good. Right? And they said two wrongs don't make right. And, you know, by you simply using, right, looking at sitting at that red light as an opportunity, you know, to take a break from driving, right? Because driving is very dangerous, right? Bad things can happen, right? A lot of detrimental, tragic things, right? People often forget that. And the fact that you're able to stop and take a breath, right? And look at other things might not be so you know, having a focus on the road for a bit can be very good. And, you know, can set you up to drive better later on. But the way you proceed, the way you react to that stimulus matters. And some can even look at getting into an accident as a good thing, right? One thing that comes into mind, per se, is when my friends, you know, would lose or break a phone to some of them, it was the worst thing in the world. They were crying. They would think that their world was over, right? That they had to find that phone, but they knew that they weren't going to. So therefore life would suck. That would be their reaction. While others see it as an opportunity to get another phone, right? To have a new beginning. And you know, I learned from that, right? Because although for me, I didn't really like losing a phone much, but I learned, you know, that the way I looked at it, the way I looked at losing the phone, which happens to pretty much anybody, you lose an object. And, you know, the more important thing, more important than losing the object, obviously you want to prevent that, right? That's how you react to it, right? Obviously you'll be more careful next time. You'll be more protective of yourself. But, you know, that new beginning is what's important. That new start with that new phone. And, you know, in the end, that is the more crucial detail of that aspect. And in order to be positive, you have to react positive. You can't react negative. So, you know, without further ado, we are gonna go into the fourth aspect of being positive. Woo! And that is to have, you know, self-improvement. And to always be striving for the best, right? That's not to say to be a perfectionist, right? And always want everything to be perfect, but right? you have to be the best at everything, right? Because you probably will not be. And, you know, if it doesn't happen, you're probably gonna feel bad, right? I, you know, I'm still trying to get rid of my perfectionism, right? I've always wanted to be the best at what I've done. And, you know, I'll admit firsthand, and when that didn't happen, when I encountered failure, which everybody does, it sucks. That it felt so bad. But, you know, had, you know, I simply looked at the failure as a step forward, right? A sign of what I have to improve. Right? It show me that what I did before was wrong. And that I have the opportunity to grow and get better. Right? How exciting is that? Right? Forget you know, getting the job, getting the interview, getting the good grade. What's more important is you striving for more, 
and trying to get there and growing and getting better and falling down and getting up. Right, you get the gist of that. That's the more important thing than the outcome, the end result. Write that A on your report card, so forth. Right, although that's what many want in the end, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. But realize the more important aspect of that, right? The more impactful, beneficial part of that experience, arguably, right beyond that grade. So now for you, look at it that way, right? Fall in love with the process of doing things and seeing the positive aspects of them, right? Because so far, so often we can fall into the trap, you know, of that negative thinking, right? Losing, you know, the point in doing things, feel that we're doing things for no reason, which will not allow us to be positive. So these were the four aspects of being a positive person, having a positive mindset. We say thank you very much and goodbye.